I have been thinking and thinking and thinking about the transparent, the corporate transparency act and all of the implications that it has. And this is where I'm at for the longest time. Starting a small business was the quickest path for average everyday people to quickly change their lives within one to three years, make a dramatic change in their life. And right now, this corporate transparency act uh, deal, I think is part of a plan to rob the American people of more power because like I, I just keep thinking you know I haven't gotten around to doing the research on how much crime happens in the corporate space that video will be coming up but the more and more I think about it this is about power and control this isn't about because the average person who goes up and sets up an LLC and tries to start a business they're not committing any crimes they're not doing anything wrong and this this whole notion that these penalties are so severe i mean 500 bucks a day up to ten thousand dollars or jail time and i'm just sitting there like you have people out here who are conducting real crime who don't get these kind of penalties you have people out here robbing folks you have people out here committing fraud they don't get these kind of penalties. You could go out and commit some fraud, get caught, go to court, and the judge might give you a few months or maybe let you off. But the act of going up and setting an LLC, setting up a holding company, setting up your uh, organization and not reporting it has become a criminal act criminal act the more that I think about this the more that I am just convinced that this is part of a larger plan to rob Americans of power and it's just going to grow larger and larger because because here's the thing 2024 is an election year believe it or not Donald Trump could be our next president again I am not going to downgrade that or say that's impossible or it never happened. He's done it before, he could do it again. So what we're gonna have is this crazy, crazy thing where the average person is going to be further and further and further away from actual real power. Actual real power, the, the setup, the put together, the hope, the whole process of building power, creating power, doing these things to put yourself in a better position. This is something that is going to become incredibly <sighs> pervasive. Because I look at average people who are trying to start businesses and they're everywhere. They're literally everywhere trying to start businesses, put stuff up. And once you start to add more complexity, and that's what this Corporate Transparency Act does, it adds more complexity. It just kicks more people out of the queue who would have thought, well, I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with that. I'm, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Thus creating an operational roadblock to keep people from starting businesses doing stuff because this is going to be much bigger than what i thought when i made the original video this is going to be somewhat gigantic in terms of setting up this whole process setting up this whole potential to actually create a business to create more income so you can have a better life here in the United States of America. And what is happening is 
you have a lot of people who are going ahead and getting into this position where they're just not being able to make the money that they need to make. And this is another scare tactic because when you look at the corporate situation, and this is something that I've been teaching for years, the proper corporate setup, the proper holding thing, and this is why I'm gonna start making these videos to, to warn people, if you have a corporation, you need to go ahead and file these documents to prevent yourself from having pain in the future. I think this is, like I said, my first video, I think it's gonna be a hot mess. It's going to be a really big, big issue because there are so many people who are going out, setting up corporations, trying to start their businesses, who are completely unaware that this is a thing. They don't even know it. And with that, this exposure to actually, because right now there are people who have small businesses, who are running their small businesses. No one knows in their ideal, you know, they, they'll see this business, they'll get served by this business, but there's no way for them to find out who owns the business. And this keeps the owner of the business well insulated and secure. But the thing is that, cause like, this is what I'm thinking. This is a huge, huge thing that I'm thinking. Um, I have just this notion that this information is going to get out. You know, you have this government entity that you're supposedly, you know, the way that I understand it, the information goes to FinCET, just goes there, and that's where it's supposed to stay. I just don't believe that it's going to stay there. I just don't. I believe there's going to be cross-references with the Internal Revenue Service. There's going to be cross-references with law enforcement agencies. And each time people can go into this government facility and get information, the more people who have access, the more chances of leaks, the more chances of bad things happening, the more things of this information getting out. Now, right now, the Internal Revenue Service it is virtually impossible for you to go to the Internal Revenue Service and get someone else's tax forms. You, there's none you can do, but they've got that safeguarded because who needs to be looking at, essentially, if you go to the bank and they wanna look at your tax forms, there's a form that you must fill out. You must grant them permission to look at your tax records. So what we have here is a situation where I don't think this organization that's supposed to be safeguarding who owns this corporation, who owns that corporation, is going to um, be like the Internal Revenue Service. I don't think it's gonna be anything like the Internal Revenue Service. I don't think it's gonna be anything like that at all. And you're gonna have this situation where you're going to have a government entity that's gonna be easily corrupted, it's gonna be easily to get the information out. And there was there's a group of people who are very much about their privacy. They're very much about their privacy. And all that's about to go away. You might as well just go ahead and file your holding company LLC at the state level, avoid all of this other stuff, this trickery, because there are more and more people who are filing LLCs in Wyoming, New Mexico, Delaware, and this information is just gonna get out because this leads to a lack of control for the average person. You cannot control your privacy. You cannot control what you do. You cannot control your business. And this, I think, is just part of a larger agenda, just a much larger agenda because with this thing that's going on, with this whole reduction of control of your personal information, you know, this is how I think. Call me crazy. You need to be accused of a crime. There need, you know, before we, you know, it's, it's kind of like, 
they've put all this stuff it's like no you haven't committed a crime but we're going to treat you as if you committed a crime by making you do this reporting documentation and we're, we're going to do that and it's just power and control power and control that's what i see because the more i think about it the more that we get down to it um the more that i see that this is just part of a larger greater plan now let's go ahead and this this is kind of a little bit off topic but i'll come back to the point what happened with abortion right now there's a woman in texas or was she she's pregnant and her baby has this syndrome which means the baby isn't going to live and if she goes through and have this birth it can cause a lot of problems so she was seeking to get an abortion and the state of texas said no you cannot have an abortion even though that is medically documented that her baby is not going to survive her baby has all these issues right and i look at that what happened with the, this is about power and control when the gop got more conservative justices sitting on the supreme court i knew that they were going to do as much as they could to get rid of abortion and I think, and this called me crazy, 15, 20 years from now, it would be virtually impossible to get an abortion if these people stay in power and stay in control. If somehow the Democrats can get in office and start to put more uh, liberal justices on the bench, we may have a chance. But essentially, th this is about the power and control. You, once you start to look at these things and have an understanding of what's going on, it gets to be very, very interesting what is happening, what people are doing, and what is part of the situation. Because one of the things that you must understand and you must have a greater ability, you, know, you must understand the concepts of power and control, privacy and being able to live your life the way that you want to. I feel that we're very on a very slippery slope with this and the Corporate Transparency Act is just part of it because as I sit back and I really, really think, why would the government need to know? And once again, I haven't done the video about corporate crimes. I got to do some research on that before I do that video because once again, from a corporate standpoint, I don't commit crimes, I don't commit fraud, I don't do that. So I don't really know what's going on in that regard. And I'm just sitting there like, is it that corporate crime? Because here's the thing, you set up a corporation, you set up an LLC, you set up a business, you get an EIN, you start running your business. Um, I'm trying to think of what kind of crimes that you can commit because you still have to go out and get customers and you still, you know, I, I just don't know. I don't know, I'll, I'll do, when I get into that research, I'll get more information. But what is happening is the American people are being robbed of power and being robbed of control and being robbed of the very bedrock of liberty day by day because once again going back you know to uh, what happened with abortion or what is happening with abortion and what is going on it's just step by step you're getting into a position where your life can be dramatically controlled by government entities and you're going to get more of this and more of this and more of this and this is something that is, um, I think, growing day by day. I think it's just growing day by day. And it's going to continue to grow unless American people fight back. Now, uh, I saw it in the comments, you know, think about this when you go vote. Um, 
voting, you have more power with voting at the local level than you do at the government level. So I don't even know if voting on the federal level is actually gonna do anything. I really don't because look at Joe Biden. Joe Biden says, we're going to go ahead and reduce your student loans and do all this other stuff. Big, big promise. And they, they tried to do it, didn't work out. And here you are now having to pay your student loan. Um, one of the things that I consistently see is people are fed one story and then on the back end, they get another story. I consistently see this. So one of the things that you guys should really, really look at is establishing your own independence, establishing your own way of life, establishing the things that you need to do where you can become more of that person who is living life on their terms and doing things because once again, as I said in the corporate transparency video, a lot of people are gonna get caught up because there, there right now, there's a guy who has an LLC, he was running his business. He, he got up this morning, got out of his bed, got in his car and drove to his office. He's running his business and he doesn't even know that this is a thing. And he's gonna file his taxes and they're gonna go, oh, you didn't report that you own this corporation. And based upon the timeline, you now owe us $10,000 or $20,000 or I mean, it's going to be a hot mess and it's, you know, and it looks to be deliberately calculated, you know, unless they start sending out notices from your secretary of state, which may happen. I don't, I don't know if that's going to happen, but it's going to be really, really intriguing how many people are going to get caught up in this mess who are, who've done nothing wrong. That, that's the thing that, that sticks with me. They've done nothing wrong. They've not committed any crimes. They've not done nothing illegal. They just set up a, a LLC, a corporation, a partnership, some type of business entity, and they're just doing business. And they're gonna get caught up in this mess because purposely think it was designed to do that. I think it was, intentionally designed because you know I'm just sitting there like how can you go ahead and put this law on the books and it's on the internet and there's a lot of people who don't know where to look for stuff on the internet but it's not really put out in the manner that it should be because like for them to be able to penalize you they must be able to prove that they warned you and that's not on the books. That's not, that's, that's, not, that's not part of the conversation. They don't have to prove nothing. All they can do is when you file your taxes and they're like, oh, this LLC and bam, and they're gonna go back to FinCED and look and they're like, oh, you didn't report. You owe us this fine. And if you can't pay this fine, you're going to go to jail. I mean, that's, that's kind of crazy. That's just really, really crazy. And how many people will be in a position where they cannot pay? And they're running a good business and they're making money, but 10,000, 20,000, 30, 40, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money just to like, hey, here we go. And I remember I was watching this YouTuber who had set up a store and it was real interesting because I don't know how they were calculating her rent, but the way they were calculating her rent was they were undercharging her and then they hit her up with this $45,000 bill. They took all her savings to pay it because it was either, you know, you pay this bill or you shut down your store and you move. It, it was all kinds of stuff. And I'm just sitting there like, <sighs> part of me think what was done to her was intentional because how does someone that you're renting a space from intentionally undercharge you rent? And then on the back end, go ahead and say, hey, now you owe us all this back rent. I mean, that is just kind of crazy. That's just kind of crazy. So right now we have this situation where American people are being robbed of freedoms, pursuits, and the ideal of liberty. And it's just gonna get worse and worse and worse. 
Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this, and I will see you guys in the next video.